Shirtcard has an easy to set up yet very flexible shipping system that I'm going to show you how to set up into your store right now. First, let's go to the shipping settings inside of Shirtcart. So I'll go, I'll hover over Shirtcart, and then I'll click the last item here that says settings. And you'll see the option right here that says shipping. We'll go ahead and click on that. Now, by default, when you first install Shirtcart and set up your store, shipping rates will be turned off. So let's go ahead and click on the toggle switch right here to turn it on and click on save. Now we show this notice here to you to let you know that even though you've turned on shipping, there's still some settings we need to have you configure here, uh, mainly how you're going to ship your products to people and the rates that go along with it and where you'll ship to. So let's go ahead and talk through that and set that up right here. So the first thing you're going to want to take a look at right here is your shipping methods. Now, shipping methods are how the product is delivered. You separate them because you have different costs. So it would cost different to ship economy or standard or express and these are the three shipping methods we have in here for you. You can delete these and you can edit them. So instead of express, you wanted this to say FedEx overnight or FedEx express or USPS express or whatever the name is for the shipping method in your region of the world. It's very easy to edit these and delete these. So here is the express. We have the three dots here on the right and I'll choose this option that says edit. And you can see right here, I can change the name of it and I can change the description. Now the description is something that your buyer will see on the checkout. So you can use this as an opportunity to add information for how long it should take for the product to be shipped to them. You can make your changes and then click on update and it will be updated. Also, you can delete them and you can add new ones. So an example would be if you offer local pickup for the products that you sell, that would be a shipping method, local pickup. And in that case, you just click on add new and add that right there. So once you have your shipping methods all sorted out, we have to do what's called create a shipping profile and we create this general profile here for you. So let's click into this general profile and let's talk through some of the options. And what we, we have this notice here at the top, it says first create a shipping zone. This is where you ship your products to and then a shipping rate. That's the cost to ship the product there. And it's depending upon the different methods that you have. This all makes sense here in a moment. So I'll scroll down. This shipping profile will have all of your products included. And you can also create custom profiles. We'll talk about that later in the video. But this is just showing a list of all the products here in your store. But what we need to do here is set up a zone and the cost to ship to that zone. So a zone is going to be a part of the world. Let's create a shipping zone right now. I'll click right here where it says create zone and I'm going to give this zone a name. So I'm going to name it United States and Canada. That's assuming it's the same cost to ship to both of these countries. So this is just the name. And then right here, I would actually select those countries. Here's the United States and you can see it's been added. And I'm also going to add Canada. Here's Canada and I'll select that. And now you can see I have United States and Canada selected so I can click on next. Now, the next step that we're going to do is we're going to choose from the methods that we just talked about. For example, the method of economy. So I'm going to choose economy and how much am I going to charge to ship to the zone, which is United States and Canada. How much am I going to charge to ship to those two countries? for the economy shipping. So here I'll just choose 4.99 like that and I'm going to choose flat rate, but there's also options to have it be based upon weight and based upon order price. So I'll click on add and you can see I have added my first zone, United States and Canada, 
and I've added my first rate. Now, if you're shipping to multiple countries, you would set those up as separate zones if the cost to ship there is different. So if I also wanted to ship to Mexico, I can create a zone and let's name this. I've named it Mexico because I'm only going to include Mexico. And let's go ahead and select Mexico. Here it is. And then I'm going to click on next. Now say to Mexico, I only ship economy and it's a flat $10. There we go. I've added a separate zone and you can see it listed here, Mexico, and here is the United States zone. So for the United States, say I also ship standard and express, I can add rates for that. So I'll click on add a rate. I'll choose the standard shipping method. And let's say this is $7.99 flat rate. And I'll also put a rate in there for express right here and then click on add. So for this zone, United States and Canada, I have put flat rates for these prices when someone chooses these methods. But for Mexico, I'm only gonna ship economy and I'm gonna have this different rate right here. Now, as you saw, there's some additional things you could add for the rate. So when I choose add rate, it was flat rate. This is gonna be based upon the item weight. Now, when you create a product in Surecart, you can put the weight in for that product right there. And that's how this will be calculated. And there's also based on price. So if you wanted to choose more based upon a higher price, or if you wanted to have shipping be free based upon a certain minimum level of the checkout, this is where you would do it right here based on order price. Okay, so this looks good to me. And I can go back and you can see right here that I no longer have that warning message. And I have added my general profile. But like I said, you can create additional shipping profiles if you're on one of the premium Surecart plans. So when I click on here, we could have something custom for maybe certain products. So let's go ahead and set one of these up. So I've named this heavy items. I'll click on add new and you can see now I'm inside of the brand new heavy items shipping profile and I have to do what we just saw prior. I have to add zones and rates, but this one's a little different. I also have to choose which products this shipping profile will apply to. So I'd go here, I'd click add new, and I would choose the particular products. So say right here, this desk, it's a heavy item, and I wanna have that shipping be based upon weight. So I can select it right here, and now we have the product here. So now the only time this shipping profile will apply is when someone is purchasing this product or whichever products I've added to this profile. So now let's go and set up the zones and rates. I'll click on create zone and say for this, I'm only shipping to the United States. I've entered United States and let me do a search for it here as well. Let's select it and let's go ahead and click on next. And I only want to ship here economy because it's very heavy. And for this, I'm going to charge $49. How about that? Because it's heavy. And I'll click on add. Great. So now that is an option there. And I can go back and you will see we now have the general profile and this custom profile that only applies when someone's buying the products that I've added to that profile. Let's go and take a look at that desk that we just added to the profile. Here it is, Lunar Minimalism Wooden Desk. Now for the shipping profiles to appear for the products when someone's purchasing them, inside of the product creation, there's this shipping option and you can choose physical or digital. Obviously for digital products or services, the cost to ship will not apply. It's just for when someone's purchasing a physical product. And here's where you can put the weight. So I'll just put 
10 pounds, and you can change whether it's pounds, kilograms, ounces, and all of that, grams. You have the different measurements right there. So I'll go ahead and click on Save Product. Now let's test our shipping methods that we just created. So I'm gonna go to the store. I'll hover over the name of my site and I'll click right here where it says Visit Store. It's gonna take me right here and here's the product, that desk. Let's go ahead and try to check out with this. I'll click on Add to Cart. I'll click on Go to Checkout. And you can see right here the country is selected and as soon as that country is selected, the shipping rates for the different methods that are available for that product will show. In this case, it was economy and it was $49.99. And you can see over here on the right, there's a shipping line item right there. And that is the cost for this. Now let's go back and try to purchase one of the other products in the store. So let's remove this from the cart. There we go, that is now removed. And let's try to purchase this lamp. So we'll go into the product. We'll do an add to cart for this. And we'll do a go to checkout. And you can see, since this is in the general profile that we have set up, we have the shipping set up right here and we have our rates right there that we set up inside of that shipping profile. Now, if I change the address to Canada, you're gonna see that the cost is the same. It's gonna refresh and it's the same, but if we change this to Mexico, you're gonna see that the options change. Now it's just that one option we set, economy, and we set the cost at $10. Now to wrap up this tutorial, I want to show you how to change this text string as well as the location of this on your checkout forms, as well as show you how to change this text string. So if you don't want it to say shipping, you can make it say whatever you want really. So for this, we need to edit the store checkout. Now I'm on the checkout, so I can click right here where it says edit page and it's gonna take me right on into it. And uh, here it is. I always like to expand everything out in list view. So I'm gonna just expand everything as you see. Now in the first column here, these are the different checkout components that make it up. And you should see shipping choices. Now, if you would used a version of Shortcard previous to us introducing the shipping capabilities, you might not see this and you can easily add the block by clicking on the plus here on the top left and scrolling down to it and dragging and dropping it wherever you want. So here it is, shipping choices. It's just a checkout component and you can place it anywhere that you want. Now, when you click into it, remember it can be wherever you want. We are, don't display anything here because there isn't anything to display or calculate uh, inside of the editor, but you can click on it. And right here you can see you can change the text label to whatever you want. You can also hide the description. So that description is where it would say uh, one to five days or, or five to 10 days. So it's the description inside of the shipping method, but I think it's probably best to constantly show it. Now, let me show you how to change the order summary. So when I expand that, we have this block here called totals. And there's an option here that says shipping line item. And when I click on this, I can also change it right here. So you can make this say whatever you want it to say. And that's all there is to setting up shipping inside of your shortcard store. It's actually very easy, but I wanted to explain all the different angles to it in this video. Now, a good next video for you to watch is our video on product fulfillment, and that's gonna be everything you'll do after you receive the order that needs to be shipped, adding tracking numbers and all of the different statuses, what you would do exactly with product fulfillment. That should be the next video you watch. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.